How's it going everyone? Thanks for checking out part two of this Buckskin Gulch and Perea River hike. In this episode, I'll show you some footage that I recorded within Buckskin Gulch. So that's still within the first 13 or so miles. And actually the videos from within Buckskin Gulch make up the majority of the footage that I got on the entire 44 mile hike. So yeah, almost all of the Perea hike video will be in part three. So strap in and let's get to it. You know some people's dogs that they brought through here and just get super muddy, I'm sure. That is kind of a cool thing about this hike is that you are allowed to bring along a four-legged friend. However, I will note that you do have to pack out all of your dog and human waste on this hike, which I think that's something that I forgot to mention in the last episode, but they do provide very high quality wag bags for you to carry along with you on your hike once you get your permit. Okay, first of all, I did a terrible job recording this first water crossing, but there are several that we ended up going through. I would guess there was about six to eight crossings in total, and I didn't record them all, but thankfully this was about as deep as it got. I have heard that it can get much deeper through these parts, and that's definitely something you would want to ask about when you pick up your permit. And that's another thing, they don't email your permit to you or anything. You have to go physically pick it up. Yeah, that's cold. <laughs> I do want to note that we did this hike around September 20th, 2019, and it was unseasonably dry at that time. So just take note of that if you're planning to do this hike. You should still plan on getting wet no matter how dry it's been in the recent months. So I haven't color corrected this footage or changed it in any way. This was all recorded on a GoPro Hero 4 Silver. And as you can see, it is a bit dark through here. 
but that's just how it was when we went through. This was around late afternoon at the latest, so that should give you an idea of how dark it can get in here. And actually, I could see how someone can get turned around in here, so definitely come prepared even if you're just doing a day hike. This may sound like common sense, but take a headlamp, a compass, and all the essentials that you might need in case you find yourself in an emergency situation. All this footage is in chronological order, and the reason I point that out is just to show you how variable this hike is. You can see how far spread out the canyon walls are in this shot, and then it's really not too long until we're back in a narrow slot canyon. And actually, at this point, we're getting really close to the confluence of Buckskin Gulch and the Paria River. I'm pretty amazed at how many things get stuck in between the canyon walls. Like you can see this giant boulder up here. There's also plenty of logs and sticks that get stuck, even with Jeff here trying to get some upper body in for the day. But yeah, that's pretty amazing. Like look at that. Look at how that happens. That's really cool. <laughs> I haven't seen my socks this dirty in a long time. Yeah, it seems like just as your feet start to get dry, you come to another water crossing. <laughs> I think I found the picture on the little hiking map that they give us. I don't know. What do you guys think? It's just you got it. So at this point, we have officially made it through Buckskin Gulch and are now starting the Perea River section of the hike. The navigation on this hike is super easy. What we'll do now is simply follow the Perea River downstream all the way to Lee's Ferry. Way to go, team. Woo! Yeah. That's <laughs> 
Now there's the Perea. This is where we're headed. This is the campsite that we chose. I don't remember exactly how far it was from the confluence, but within a couple miles if I remember correctly. And here's another shot of it that more accurately shows how elevated we are from the river, which we chose it up there just in case a flash flood comes through overnight, which thankfully it didn't. Here I am again panning up the canyon walls, and I don't remember what I was expecting, but I thought maybe once we were out of Buckskin Gulch, we would be out of the canyon, which is not true at all, and sleeping under an overhang like this was definitely a cool experience. There was also a very noticeable natural face in the wall that was right across from our campsite. It was kind of creepy to be honest. But yeah, here's another wider view of our awesome campsite, and this was actually the end of day one, so I think that's a great spot to end this episode. So thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.